morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a voiceover for the very first time and I want you to I want to know what you think about it so leave me a comment below the video if you like it and would love to, would love me to do some more voiceovers or you really prefer the way it was with just some music. Anyway, I am starting my page with some washi tape in the middle uh, just to prevent uh, color seeping through my spine. And then I will be covering the whole page with some white gesso. For a couple of weeks I have been feeling really uninspired and today I just decided to sit down and go through my little basket of leftover pieces to see if the, I will find anything that would spark my inspiration. And then I played around in my little journal that you can see on the right. I arranged the pieces until I was feeling happy about it and then I decided uh, the journal was too small, so I wrote out my bigger journal, which is a dilution journal. So I'm just gluing down pieces from, from my right journal to the bigger journal. And I'm using gel medium to glue everything down. myself. My name is Jessica and I'm from Sweden uh, and that's why I have a funny accent and uh, this is what I do on my free time otherwise I'm working full-time as a um, preschool teacher. I have been art journaling since maybe 2016 and I had my YouTube channel for a little more than three years, I think. I'm not really thinking about where to put things uh, on the page. Uh, it's more a uh, intuitive uh, feeling. But of course there are some compositioning rules that you can think about when you make your page and um, if you are interested I can do a video where I explain a few of these uh, composition rules uh, if you want me to do that please leave me a comment uh, below the video also if there is anything else you want me to do a video about uh, please let me know as usual, I will put a list of supplies in the des description box below the video.
Now I'm using white gesso to blend everything together on the page. Now I'm using some uh, light modeling paste from Liquitex and a stencil from uh, Finnebar and Prima and uh, adding some texture to the page in some places. Now I'm drawing the page completely and I'm adding clear gesso all over the page to protect all my papers from getting destroyed when I use sprays later in the process. and. The reason why I use clear gesso is that I want all my paper pieces to be visible. Today I'm using the stamp gang sprays to color my page and I have picked up uh, some colors that I really like, some turquoise and some greens and I'm spraying my page with some water just to get the colors to flow a bit easier.
it's time for some scribbles and I'm using a um, Stabilo Old pencil, black, and it's an aquarelle pencil. That sounds really funny when I say it, but I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Aquarelle. Right. Um, and I'm holding the pen at the end just to get my scribbles a bit more loose and I'm following some lines that I see on the page and oops the page wasn't really dry so I had to try it a bit more now I'm covering up the little barcode piece that I didn't really like with some tissue paper and some white chisel for uh, a little piece of butterfly it's from a napkin and I'm just moving it around to see where I want to place it and I'm using gel medium to glue it And for some reason I didn't like that little square so I'm trying to remove it and then I'm covering it with white gesso. Now I'm looking through some sticker sheets to find some words to put on my page and I make choices depending on how I feel when I journal. Some more scribbles around the stickers. I'm 
using the same pencil as I did before, the Seville All, and I'm dipping the, the tip in my water uh, container, and it makes a watercolor effect that I really like. Just following some lines that I can see on my page. I have decided to add a stamped sentence to my page and my favorite way of adding stamped uh, images or text to my page is to stamp on tissue paper with uh, archival ink which is waterproof and the reason that I use tissue paper is because it will blend with my background and you will be able to see what's underneath which are water soluble it will reactivate when you use gel medium on top the page is almost finished and um, to finish off with some more scribbles. I would love if you left me a comment down below uh, to let me know what you feel about the voiceover. And if you like the video, please hit thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.